Hello, hello. So uh, when I use OBS, uh, I actually record all of my stuff in 5.1 audio or 5.1 surround because I have a external surround sound amplifier and speakers. <clears throat> so way, the way I set that up uh, is here in the audio, 5.1 audio. It's grayed out now because I record. Um, so why do I do this? Well, a lot of games actually support surround sound. But the problem is actually YouTube, um, Twitch, for example, they also they support streamers if you send uh, 5.1 audio. Uh, that's perfectly fine because I checked the VODs afterwards and the VOD have 5.1 audio. So if uh, viewers have a surround sound system, they will get surround sound when you live stream. If the, the viewer don't have a surround sound system, uh, Twitch will down mix the audio to stereo. So there's no problem there either. The problem is actually YouTube. YouTube by itself support 5.1 audio. Uh, the problem is that it doesn't support it when you use a browser like this. It only support 5.1 5 audio on your TV. If you use the smart app or the YouTube app on your smart TV and you play five, a video with 5.1 audio, uh, you can have a setting on the app itself I don't remember where, but uh, there's an audio setting and you can actually change it to 5.1 audio. But as I said, it only works on the TV, not on the browser. If you use a browser to use YouTube, uh, you will only get stereo. And there's no option to select 5.1 audio. I don't know why they have it like this. It's just weird. Uh, so, yeah, for example, if uh, this is my uh, gaming channel, so this is my videos. Uh, so I have one playing here, and you can see if I go to the settings here, there's no audio settings here. Just playback speed, sleep timer, ambient mode, and quality, the quality of the video. So, but no, no audio settings here. But if you have like on the TV, you should have like a audio, an audio option here. So, yeah, I recorded everything. And if I play this, you can as e easily see this on my browser. If I start playing this. You can see. Uh, oops. Let's see. Where the browser here is kind of loud. But it's just two uh, channels. Playing of, of five or six, actually. Oh, but you only get you. stereo. That's a lot. Uh. Let's lower that a little bit. As you can see, there's just two channels. So that's kind of weird um, with YouTube, but there is a sort of workaround and it uh, has nothing to do with the browser. <laughs> you need to go to the Microsoft store, the store. And up here, you're going to search for MPC dash uh, was it D E or B B? Yeah. And the first top left, you see it says M M P C B E. I already got it installed. Uh, so 
So you install it, and it's basically a special video player. I tried to use uh, VLC, but it doesn't work. VLC just uh, spit out a uh, error message when I tried to do this. So that's why I saw a solution with this. And that's minimize this for now. So MPC BE. Uh, it's going to be a kind of a small window when you start it up the first time. Um, what I do here is that I'm going to change a couple of settings here. So you right click over here, anywhere in the window, window here, and you go to uh, almost at the bottom here, it says options. And yeah, let's see, I don't think I did anything. Yeah, the only thing I did was window size over here. It says, remember, it was standard video size by default. So I changed it to uh, remember last window size. And I also changed it to scale the to video size. So that's why the uh, program is big right now. So that's the window size. Then also web interface. I changed the quality, image quality here. It was on 85%. So I changed it to 100. Uh, nothing else over here. And then on the playback here and then online media services. Um, at the top here, I changed the default is H.264. Uh, I think you can leave it at that. Uh, I'm just trying out VP9. It's sort of YouTube's encoder thing. And by default, uh, the resolution here was set to 720p. So I changed that. I bumped it up. I got the 1440p monitor. So I want the highest resolution to be 1440p. Also, I checked the 60 FPS here. And down here, it says YouTube-DL. Same thing here, max video height. I changed that from 720 to 1440. Because uh, when I uh, tried to watch YouTube videos, uh, the video looked blurry. Uh, and then I saw it was set to 720. So but that's the settings over here. I just apply, okay. And what you do next is that you actually go to your browser. And usually I have two monitors, so I have this player on a different uh, monitor. But yeah, this is, let's for example, take this uh, Cyberpunk. So I hold down the left, left mouse button and then I drag it to the player. And you see it actually starts hey. playing on this. Let's continue this. Here. And hey everyone, feels great to if I move forward a little bit. Oh. And if we look at OBS, let's just yeah, it says we'll see here, but this is actually the player. It now show you all the 5.1 channels. And yeah, this video is actually streaming from YouTube. I can't dump. I didn't download anything. As you saw, just drag that file into the uh, player. I'm dead anyway. The player is actually streaming it now with 5.1 audio. So, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a workaround. Um, if, you, if you want, if you know that the video contain 5.1 audio, uh, you can, and you want to have 5.1 audio in the playback. This is kind of the solution for that. So yeah, that's kind of a funny thing. So yeah, that's the solution for that. So catch you later.